Hey, what's going on guys? Flick here and welcome back to another episode of Season 2 of the Liverpool Career Mode. In today's episode, we have a couple of semi-final fixtures that we're going to play. The semi-final of the FA Cup against Norwich. Then moving to the weekend, we have a home leg fixture against Chelsea. And I think in this match, I'm going to try out some of our younger players because like I've mentioned in some of the previous episodes, we have the Premier League pretty much wrapped up. We're going to have to mess up pretty badly not to finish first. And then we'll be getting into the first leg of our semi-final fixture in the Champions League against FC Bayern. I've been looking over the comments for the last few videos and I've received quite a few asking where Gerard's regen is and that maybe we should sign him. Well, here he is right now. We have him on loan from his MLS team and we did sign him at the start of this season. But what I'm going to do is I received another comment saying that we should send him back to his CPU control team so that way he can get the May bump. If you guys aren't familiar with the May bump, it's kind of a confusing thing. But basically, when young players like this are controlled by a CPU control team, they get a massive bump once he hit the 1st of May. So the hope is we're going to send him back to his home team and he'll get a boost and hopefully we can pick him up on a permanent basis next season. And speaking of regens, I've went ahead and scouted Dirk Kout's regen. You know, we have signed Steven Gerrard's regen and Dirk Kout played quite a few years over at Liverpool and he was kind of a fan favorite. So I figure maybe picking up his regen could be a good move at the start of next season. Here's a quick look at his estimated stats. We don't have a definitive look quite yet because I'm currently scouting him. But he looks like an alright player and maybe we can give him some playtime next season. But I do want to open it up to you guys. Go ahead and click the on your screen right now and participate in the vote. Do you want me to sign Dirk Kout's regen at the start of next season? But with that out of the way, we will get into our first match of the episode. It's going to be the FA Cup Final against Norwich. And we're bringing out our second team for this fixture because we played a match just not too long ago. And I think this team can get it done. Hopefully we can reach the final. And it appears that we'll be playing Manchester City should we make it to the final. Obviously a difficult team to come up against, but we fared pretty well against Manchester City in our Premier League fixers throughout this season. So I think we have a good chance at getting a win in the FA Cup. Here is Norwich's lineup. Some decent players in there, but really no world-class players. And hopefully the skill from our side and the high overall ratings will be able to fully allow ourselves to take advantage of Norwich's team and get the win. Early start for us and Gomez looking to find Jordan Ibe who might be on his way out of Liverpool next season but he's going to start the game off pretty well finding Origi. We're going to place one around and Milner was about to bang that one in the far corner but Norwich does step up and their defense clears it out. Oh, big steal here by Jordan Ibe. He's going to play it in the middle. Coutinho laying off the pass. First time shot and we have conceded a lot of those shots. This time Emery Chan wasn't quite able to bang it in. We're going to work this ball around. We have Divock Origi here. He's going to play this one through. This is a nice bit of play. Now Markovic is going to get some open space. Can he send in the cross to the far post? We have someone there, and it's Jordan I with the diving header, or like half a diving header, but Ruddy has been big in this match, making a lot of saves for Norwich. We're going to send in another corner kick. James Milner looking to find someone, and that's got to be a goal. It's Nicholas Sula, our new signing in January, who gets the goal for us, and he is just so tall, and he makes himself a presence inside the box. Nice goal right there. Flanagan looking to find Markovic. He's going to get by a couple of Norwich players here. Get this one forward. Now cutting inside. Does well to get by a few more Norwich players. And needs to find the pass. He's got Divock Origi in the middle. Or it's actually Coutinho. Now it's Origi. And it's got to be a finesse on the near post. 2-0 just like that. And after a good start for Norwich, they've kind of collapsed on the last two chances we've had. And suddenly we have the lead. <laughs> Divock Origi just made him look like a fool and suddenly we're on the counterattack here. Markovic gonna get the ball back and he has options in the middle. It's gotta be a far post cross right here and he puts it on a plate. That one going over the bar though. Coutinho finding Divock Origi. We're gonna play this one out wide to Milner. He sees Jordan Ide making that run. Suddenly we have a chance to cross this one in. Jordan Ide cutting it inside. Looking to go back outside with it. Finds the pass with Coutinho. Now over to Divock Origi. Another fake shot. Can we bang this far post? And the power shot working out for us. 3-0 before halftime. Surely we're going to get this win. And this allows us to make sure we can rest our players like Coutinho. So we can start thinking about our next fixture against Chelsea. Here are the stats at halftime. A big goose egg for Norwich. Zero shots and zero on target. We are winning the possession battle and creating a lot of chances. We're going to go ahead and make our substitutes right now with 45 minutes left in this game. And I think the only player I'm going to take off that's a first team player for us is going to be Coutinho, maybe even Milner. Uh, that's what I think I'm going to do. So Coutinho coming off, Adam Milano will be brought on, and Emerson Hyman brought on for Milner. Oh, chance here for Norwich. 
And suddenly, they, we only have one defender back in Naismith trying to take advantage of that, playing it back inside, and that pretty much sums up Norwich. They can't even get a shot on target, and we're just going to get rid of it. If we can find the ball to Divock Origi so he can get his hat trick, that would be ideal, but Redmond takes it away. This could be a chance for Norwich. Can they finally get a shot on target? They're going to go to the corner flag, and now working it around, looking to whip it in, but we steal it right away. And if they don't shoot on goal, they're just not going to score. I don't know what they don't understand. But suddenly, it's a through ball for us. Adam Alana has plenty of space. He also has a sweat across. We're going to go with the finesse shot, though. And Adam Alana picking himself up a goal, making it 4-0. And that is just a dominant performance by us. Good to see Adam Alana picking up another goal and working on his finishing. Since I criticized him a little bit, I've seen his finishing improve quite a bit. Markovic working the ball up. He sees Divock Origi here on the right. This could be his chance to get that hat trick. And that is a big tackle by Basong. Fair play. Here's some play by Norwich. Finally, they're starting to pass the ball around. Now Nathan Redman going to try to send in the cross. Jerome with a chance. And the one shot they've had today, it's a goal. Ends up being 1-4. to four. Bit disappointing there, and I feel bad for Simone Mignolet because he really hasn't been tested all day in the one really moment of error we have they concede but that is full time for us guys we're gonna walk on to the final in a leisurely fashion to be completely honest only five shots but we managed to get four goals from that just clinical finishing by the team and a great overall performance it's time for a monthly scouting update from Croatia and we do manage to find a 70 to 94 potential player Bogdan Dragojevic and we're going to sign him up to the Youth Academy. Moving on now, 69 to 89 potential, 47 to 65, 59 to 77, and finally a 51 to 67. All right, here is our starting 11 against Chelsea. And as promised, we're going to do a nice mixture of both young and old. And I think I've found a pretty good balance. We have our... Youth Academy center back Alvarez, 66 rated, and he has a decent amount of potential. We've got Flanagan in here. We have Kent Smith, which is Gerard's regen. And then up front, we do have Richards, who looks like an all right player. He does have five-star skill moves and a decent amount of pace. So I think he could be able to succeed for us. And as a matter of fact, Chelsea is the number two team in the Premier League. So our young players are going to have to step up if we do want to pick up a win here against them. Quick glance at Chelsea's starting lineup. We'll see. It appears for Van Ginkle, kind of a surprise there, but he seems to be a fairly regular appear in career mode, but a strong starting 11, and we're going to have to play well in this game. And here's Oscar getting by a couple of our players, now playing it in the middle to Van Ginkle. He's going to have the shot. Pepe Reina with a big save to start off the match. Hazard working it around, and now to Willian. Going to be able to find Oscar. Now they're going to turn, and Pepe Reina has really performed well. He had that poor performance in his debut match, and since then he's been rock solid for us. That's a clutch save against Diego Costa. Corner kick here for Chelsea, and we're going to look to get this one cleared out. Pepe Reina should have just grabbed that, and we're going to have to get this one cleared out traditionally now. Ivanovic has the shot, and it's a goal. That mistake came from Pepe Reina. If he just would have grabbed it, that chance would have never been created, but it was a good shot, to be fair, by Ivanovic. We gave him too much space, and he put it away. Here's Suarez. Looking to find Richards. He's going to play it back inside to Suarez. This could be a chance for us to get that goal. We're trying to find Marco Royce, but Suarez still on the ball. He's going to go with the power shot with his right foot. And that one going inches wide of the target. Here are the halftime stats. And I'm really not too stressed about this result because the one goal from Chelsea was a pretty immaculate strike from Ivanovic. It came from a mistake, but you still can't discredit the finish. We just need to create some more chances. Suarez had a few opportunities to bag himself a goal. And hopefully those opportunities will arise again in the second half. There's Quadrado on the ball for Chelsea. They're going to play this one inside to Fabregas. Now Fabregas tried to find the pass. It was Smith who put in a good tackle and allowed ourselves to win the free kick. Well done by Jared's regen. And at this point, we need to make some changes because otherwise we're just not going to score. Richards will be coming off and we will bring Sturridge on to replace him. And other than that, I feel like the rest of our team has played pretty well. But Jordan Henderson is going to be coming on for Smith. We're just going to punt this one forward. There's a lot of space on the left. And I think we've been able to connect with Suarez, who sees Marco Royce making the run. Can we get that goal back late? We have Sturge on the far side. That's going to be a penalty ref and a chance for us to tie it up now. Suarez to take the penalty kick, and that penalty kick marker is going really quickly. But we're going to get it in the green, and we just need to put this one away. It's a good penalty. Keeper dove the right direction, but it was above him, and we've tied it up. Well, this could be our chance to get another goal. And it's going to be Ryan Kent making a great run. He's going to spin this one inside. He has options in the middle. He's going to play it over to David Alaba, who's going to beat out the defense. Nearly a second penalty. We're just going to cross this one in. I don't know what that was for a cross. We had Coutinho on the far side. Here's Ryan Kent. We're going to maybe get one more attack in. And we have enough players forward here. 
Luis Suarez. Playing over the Coutinho. We have Ryan Kent making that run. He gets outbodied by Fabregas. And that is going to be the full-time whistle, guys. We managed to get a draw with half a youth team. So I think this was a pretty good result. And we're going to be able to maintain our position at the top of the table. Here are the full-time stats. And I would say that Pepe Reina did play a pretty good game besides that one mistake he made on the corner kick. Chelsea dominated in possession. They got more shots than us. But we got the point. Another monthly scouting update coming in from the United States. And we found a 92 potential player Wondolowski, and it's kind of funny because there is a U.S. men's national team player named Wondolowski, so we'll sign him up and moving on now. We'll see if we get any more 90-plus players. We have a 70 to 90 right here, and we have a 94, 80 to 94 potential. Nick Malia could be a good player, and a lot of these right backs seem to be really highly rated, and finally a 65 to 83. All right, guys, it is time for the match that we have all been waiting for, the home leg fixture of the Champions League semifinal against FC Bayern München. This should be a good game, and I'm really curious to see their starting 11 because Bayern is usually pretty pretty busy on their transfers, and I'm hoping that they don't have a super stacked team. And the teams that are remaining in the Champions League are ourselves Bayern Munich, as well as Borussia Mönchengladbach and Real Madrid. Regardless of who we play, it's going to be a tough fixture. And I told you guys that Bayern is usually pretty busy on their transfers, selling players like David Alba, who now play for us, but bringing in players like David Silva and Paul Pogba. This could be a chance for us to get on the counterattack. Luis Suarez doing a good bit of play. He has Sturridge in the middle. We're going to go with the LBY. Sturridge just needs to hold him off. Gets it on his left foot. Ref, is that a penalty? Apparently not. Now going into this game, we need to play well because we seem to be cursed at home in the Champions League. Losing our last two fixtures against Barcelona as well as Bayer Leverkusen. Looking to change it here against Bayern Munich. Over the top through ball, and it's a good one. Over to Arturo Vidal, we need to defend this well. He's cutting in to Paul Pogba, and the shot's in the back of the net. It's 1-0 for Bayern Munich, and of course it's the new signing, Paul Pogba, who does score for them. We have some ground to cover now. Here's Marco Royce, cutting inside to Coutinho, asking someone to make the run, and Coutinho playing it out to Marco. He's going to look to cut this one inside. This could be a chance for us to get a goal back. We're going to play this one in the center, but no one's presenting himself an option. Royce does it himself, and it's tied up just minutes after conceding. That is how you come back. And Bayern Munich have been trying to pick up Royce on a transfer for two straight seasons, and they've been unsuccessful in doing so. This is why I want him on our team. This could be a chance for us to maybe get one more goal before halftime. We're going to play it out wide to Sturridge. Not really too many options presenting themselves, but Sturridge going to try to cut it in. Bernat with a good stop, and that is the halftime break, guys. We're leveled at 1-1, one to one, and we have the chance to get the win here. Stats-wise, Byron have been dominating possession, but we are out shooting them, and I'm fine with that trade-off. If we can just continue to create shots, it's going to be tough to beat Manuel Neuer, but I think we can do it. Chance here for Byron to get forward. Paul Pogba beating out a couple of our defenders, now playing it in the middle to Vidal. He has the through ball. He's not going to play it, though. Now Lewandowski over to Sebastian Roda. Lewandowski with the shot well wide. Chance here for Iron Robin to send in the cross. He will send in the cross. Trying to find Lewandowski. Karius, safe hands, and we're going to look to get on the counterattack now. Not a lot of Bayern defenders back, and we have options here with Sofian Faguli. He scored in our previous Champions League fixture, and maybe he can do it again here. Waiting for the defender to come in, and now cutting inside. Sees an option here. We're going to work this one around. It's Coutinho. Finding Marco Royce, finesse shot time, and that one right at Neuer. And on that note, we're going to make some substitutions for some of our tired players. Coutinho will be coming off, and of course, Adam Alana will be brought on for our left wing position. I'm going to give Jordan Ive a chance to succeed in this game. He might be leaving next season, but he's still in pretty good form, and whenever he does come on as a substitute, he seems to be an impact. We're just going to whip in this corner kick with Adam Alana, and maybe we can connect with the header. Neuer gets a piece of it, or we're going to hang on to possession with Sofian Faguli. Sees the pass. It's going to be Krachowiak. Krachowiak looking to slip this one through. It's a good through ball to Jimenez. And of all players to score, it's Jimenez, the new transfer. Our center back staying up the pitch. And that is a huge goal for us. We have the lead. And if we can take this lead going into the Allianz Arena, I think we can win. Now, if we can get another goal and continue to add on to our aggregate lead, that would be even better. It's always going to be difficult playing at the Allianz. So we need as big of a lead as we can get. Oh, this could be a through ball chance. If he's on sides and Suarez looks to be on sides, we can put this game to rest. And Suarez getting it on his right foot and he puts it in the back of the net. It's three to one at our home leg fixture. The curse is over, guys. And we have finally won a game at home and we're sitting in a really nice spot for the next leg. Joshua Kimmich trying to get something here for Bayern. The young German player finds David Silva. He's got to be crossing this one in. And we're just going to clear this one away and clear it out once more by Adam Alana. And that is going to be the full-time whistle, guys. A two-aggregate lead. 
going into the Allianz Arena, I think we can hang on to that and advance to the final. But that's going to be in the next episode, guys. That's going to wrap things up today. I hope you have enjoyed this episode of Liverpool Crew Mode. If you have, make sure you drop a like down below. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. And until next time, this has been Flick. I'll be talking to you guys again soon.